Hi, Chilly Dave here. Um, as you know, um, I've introduced uh, my hydroponics before. Um, well, I'm, I'm at home now, and um, because of my uh, living situation, um, I have a house in Clifton, hence being a member of the uh, Clifton Chili Club, and uh, I'd just like to show you my mini setup here. Um, the reason I want to show you that is because, um, as you can see, I live in a built up area um, and um, there's not much growing space. So, but just to prove, um, we're now stood on top of my kitchen. Um, I built some decking last year and a friend helped me um, do a bit, lovely little bit of decking up lights and everything like that. But in the corner, um, I've got my little chili den. Pride and joy, and my topper is a hand crafted uh, chili that I made out of some uh, wood. Um, took about four hours to make. Um, used a cheap poly tunnel, and, and then I've dressed it with this pressurized timber um, just to keep it in keeping uh, and make it look pretty professional and smart within uh, the surroundings. You know, I don't want it to look untidy. Um, it keeps the ladies in the house uh, happy as well. Um, let's go on to the chili plants. This is what you're probably interested in. Um, because I live away, I've had to um, install a watering system, um, and you know, I asked the ladies to water, but um, you know, they're not as meticulous as I like. Um, so, all I've done is I've used a hose lock system. Um, you can see it here, um, and then two minutes a day, it just waters. Uh, it takes a little bit of fine adjustment, but it waters. Um, it does well. Um, not as perfect as I want, um, but you know, I can spend three, four weeks away sometimes. But I come back. And I've got chilies. So, what chilies have I got here? Um, you may ask. Indeed. Well, we'll start at the low grade stuff, shall we? Um, got a super chili. Okay, it's doing fine. A bit of stress there. Um, but, you know, it's now uh, mid July. Again, chilies on there. Not as many as I'd like. The plant is a bit stressed. Okay, here we have um, the seven pot habanero. Um, seeds were kind of donated by some seeds. Plenty of flowers on there. Um, we have actually got some little baby chilies coming on. Um, beautiful looking flowers. Um, got plenty of little chilies actually coming on. I've noticed uh, it's been three weeks since I've seen these ones. At the back, we have a uh, Bangalore Whippet. Um, lovely looking chilies. Um, not very hot. Um, these uh, seeds were grown from seeds given by the Hippie Seed Company um, from over in Australia. Um, and that plant's looking great. And again, um, we've got some. More seeds from um, the ABC company, and this is the uh, the Naga one. Um, good looking plant. We've got some nice flowers. Um, I haven't spotted any chilies yet, but I'm sure there are some little budding ones coming along. There's a few look like they're going to do a leaf drop. Um, but generally, because uh, I live away so often, you know, this is hit and miss, um, and it's nice to come back. Um, we have the other ones which you've seen in the other videos at other locations. Um, out in the tunnel which the guys look after but this is all behind closed doors um, and uh, you know let's it onto a self timer system it works um, it's worth a try and uh, yeah it's paid off dividends and it gives a feature to um, what is my new nice sort of veranda terrace uh, looks quite smart in the corner next year I plan to make a much better wooden one um, completely wooden with air vents and everything like that um, and this is my decking, just a couple of other things. Um, Clifton is very hilly for those that don't know. Um, and as you can see, straight away, look over the side. Okay, I've got a few vegetables and everything growing down there. But this is the remit of the room. And a little place that I landscaped last year is just down there. This is actually a fire exit. But I just basically um, tried to tidy the place up. Um, but that's it. And yeah, we're on top of the kitchen. Um, kitchen's down there, um, and this is my my little setup. So I'll give you a closing shot of my hand wooden carved chili. I am very proud of that. Um, I did make another one for Alex Duck at the Upton Cheney Chili Company. Um, um, hopefully, you might be able to spot it lying around. Well, until next time, take care. Bye.